question? Yeah. What makes you laugh? Uh, truth or dare. Truth or dare? Yeah. <laughs> So Isabella was born with a really rare disease that we didn't find out about until she was about four and a half months old. She needed a new pair of lungs and Shane's Hospital was the only hospital willing to give her that chance. So we were transferred over here from South Florida and she waited on the transplant list for about nine months. And she was 14 months old at the time. She had never come home yet and she got her transplant January 27, 2013 and she got to come home two months after that. But during that time when we were still in the hospital, um, we got to hear her first laugh ever. So um, Isabel had just had her transplant. She was in the hospital room um, and her dad and I got to stay in one of the pullout couches for the first 17 days after her transplant. And I remember coming in at like three o'clock in the morning after getting some coffee because it was just, you didn't really have a sleeping schedule at that time, but her nurse was like, oh, okay, I just got her set up nice with her little bath and all that. And we were gonna lay down to go to sleep on the pullout couch. And um, we just hear this like strange little noise. It's not even like a real full laugh. Mighty, she was kind of like a newborn because she, she was medically paralyzed for her whole life. So she was kind of coming out of all the drugs she had been on for up until then. 14 months old, almost 15 months old, and um, she, we hear this like gurgling sound, <laughs> and so we look over and her face is really bright red, and she has this big huge smile on her face, and you just, you know that she's laughing, she just doesn't know how to, because she's like a little newborn. So that was the first time we ever really witnessed it, it was the middle of the night, 3 o'clock in the morning wouldn't have happened if we hadn't been able to stay by her bedside in one of those pull-out couches that were funded by CMN. Um, it's literally the little things that count so much when you're in that situation. Um, patient care is so important and, and we're just so grateful to have the little things. DMF-UF is extremely important um, just because the little things that you wouldn't think of um, are the, the things that are such a big part of being in, a, in the hospital with your child so sick that um, they're the ones that help fund beds, child life, arts and medicine, um, and all of that stuff comes together and, and creates a little family for, for you and, and your own little family while you're in the hospital. And so that fundraising that DM at UF is doing, um, they don't realize it yet, but it is such a big blessing to the families that are currently in the hospital. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs>